What's up guys, it's KG93 here, and today I'm going to be doing the review on the Totes Isotoner Smart Touch Gloves. Now a little bit earlier, I released a unboxing video, an unboxing video for these gloves, and now that I actually had time to use them a little bit, I'm going to give a review on them. So, if you guys didn't watch my other video or you forgot what these gloves are, these are specialized gloves that allow you to use a touchscreen device while wearing them. Now you guys may know obviously that um, t capacity touch screens, um, that is ones that use the pulse in your hands to actually work the device, uh, they don't work with normal gloves because obviously the electrical pulse in your hand isn't strong enough to go through the glove to actually work it. But uh, my first generation iPod Touch will act as the uh, capacitive touch screen device. And I can say from when I used this, that over the course of however long I used it, which is maybe a week or so, that these gloves performed very well. Uh, not only are they good as normal gloves, at keeping them your hands warm and comfortable, uh, they are also very accurate and pretty good with the touch screen. As you can see, it acts normally as if I just was not wearing the gloves themselves. Uh, pros about this is that they're very nice and they're very high quality gloves. They have this uh, non-slip grip so that if you're holding your touch screen device, it's not going to fall out of your hand. So that's always a plus. You don't want to um, accidentally be dropping your device. The way that this works is that there's capacitive threading on these parts on the index and the thumbs of both hands so that you can you point or you slide or whatever you want to do on the screen. Um, but yeah, that's the good part about this. I'm sorry I'm doing this upside down, but I suppose I could turn it over. Uh, when you touch, you have to uh, you may, may or may not have to touch um, very hard because depending on how well your fingers fit into the gloves, uh, it varies. Like my thumb is perfectly fine because my thumb is actually the length of this finger on the glove, but my index finger is a little bit short, so I do have to press a little bit harder. But again, that's nothing um, that big enough to complain about. Uh, the gloves themselves, they're like I said, very high quality and very nice. They're very flexible. They don't constrict your hand movement at all. They're very warm on the inside. They're fleece lined. You probably can't tell, but they are fleece lined on the inside, which is very, very nice. Honest to this is that depending on who you are, this might be a little pricey. They're approximately $44 a pair, at least for the men's gloves. I'm not sure that varies to the women's gloves. Uh, they come in a variety of colors, uh, some including the black here. You also have brown colors, and I'm pretty sure the women's colors come in different colors too. I just haven't checked up on those. Um, so again, the cons of this might be a little bit pricey depending on who you are, but I think that they'd be worth that much money. And again, the other con is that if your fingers don't fit perfectly in the glove, which I guess depends on the size of your hand and the size that you get, uh, varies from person to person. So the performance might be a little bit, you know, not so hot on that, but again, that's something very, very minuscule that I wouldn't really complain about. Just throwing that out there so I give a very fair and honest review of this product. One thing I like to mention though is that if you have an iPhone, this isn't the best app for texting. Uh, this isn't the best uh, glove to use for texting. Uh, not because that, you know, it just doesn't work while texting. Sometimes it's a little, just a little bit more difficult. Like, I don't know, if I wanted to look up something, it still is somewhat reliable, but it's a little harder to type because, you know, you have this big glove in your way instead of just your fingers typing. So texting on this or just like, you know, using the keyboard is a little bit difficult with these gloves on. So I wouldn't really recommend that, but if you really uh, tried at it, I'm pretty sure you could master how to type with these gloves on. But in short, that's the review for the Totes Isotoner Smart Touch Men's Gloves. I really, again, want to thank Totes Isotoner very much for sending these gloves out to me free of charge for review purposes. And again, as you guys saw, this is the Totes Isotoner Smart Touch Gloves Review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe if you want more videos like this in the future. See you guys later.